Odell Beckham Jr. making the rounds. He's been to New York. He's been to Buffalo. He's visiting the Cowboys. I really don't know what's going on here, Chris. I do believe at some level Odell's agents are using this vague promise of making a difference for a team in 2022 to get him paid for 2023. And he's not working out for teams. Jay Glazer reported that on Sunday. They're not talking contract. He's just going on this tour of all these folks showing him love. Remember, that's a big part of his, and that's fine. It's fine. You want to feel wanted wherever you are. He wants to feel wanted. But I don't know that as we get into the middle of December, which will be here by the time we get to the next weekend of games, and he's not going to be playing them. When's he even going to play? What's he going to do for a team this year? At some point, he's going to see that, oh, I'll help you in the playoffs, isn't going to get him the contract he wants. And I think his best play eventually may be to just say, I'm going to sign after the season. I won't have to wait until March. I'm a free agent now. I'll sign after the Super Bowl with somebody. We'll do that again, and you can make me your offers, and I'll get ready to go for you week one. Because I think it's going to be too much pressure, and the expectations will be too high for him to come in and help somebody down the stretch or in the playoffs this year. It's going to be about how you know how he feels, how he feels physically. I mean, I I I hear what you're saying there. I mean, first off, I think if I was just from the team's perspective, there's no way I would sign Odell Beckham Jr. to a long-term contract. There's no way. I, mean, I just yeah, yeah I'd, I'd have to see more. I'm not going to invest into the future without knowing what you look like on the field and where your body is there. So, and honestly. I, don't, I mean, I don't think any team's going to feel comfortable about that. I think if he wants to maximize what he wants to do, you know, again, this goes into kind of what you're saying. You got to be a little careful about where you are with your body. But if you feel like, you know, hey, you can add something here to a football team in the next, you know, five a month from now, then go for it and put your best foot forward. I, I, I'm not. I wouldn't be mad at that. I do think he has a chance. You know, we saw him do it last year. I know this is a little later on in the process, but he has a chance again to at least maybe get healthy and be a hundred percent by the playoffs or some. Not a hundred percent, but good enough to where he's a real threat. And then a team, if you're on the right situation, a team in the off season can go, okay, here's what we got. This is good. And now he might get the money he he wants or deserves. But like Mike, I, this is what we said from early on in the process, where you know I had I had heard from teams that yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. You know, from everything I think his camp was telling some of these teams, like. They didn't think they were going to be able to play in December. It was going to be get on a team, kind of get in shape, get used to things, and then hopefully I can help you out for the playoffs. And I don't know how any team could feel comfortable about giving them a long-term contract with, with that formula we just laid out right there. My suspicion is that the Cowboys are putting on the full court press to try to get the Giants to do something stupid and give him too much money and step up with the offer he's looking for and put themselves in a tough spot moving forward. Because you're right, either wait until after the season or do a deal that carries you to the end of the season. I don't see who's going to give him big money beyond this year. Sight unseen, no workout, no guarantee that he's going to help you now. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.